All right, I'm here with Tim Malcolm. Um, he's going to talk to us a little bit. Uh, tell us about Billy Don's rifle that you built, and then tell us about the one that you're currently working on, which will be my uh, <laughs> Six Creed and more. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about those. You bet. So this is this is a fantastic piece of equipment right here. I mean, you talk about just the best of the best stem to stern, right? Uh, those, uh, like Billy Don said, those chassis uh, from uh, uh, Foundation, Foundation, yeah. right? Fantastic. My car is a magnificent material, and uh, the impact actions, I can't say enough about them. They are so consistent, so precise. They've, they've really... Uh, they've they really set the standard. Well, yeah. I mean, at this point, you know, people have been doing precision for a long time. I mean, oh, uh, bench rest really took it off in the 70s. This PRS, uh, man, people are needing more and more. They're needing the best, That's right. theoretical best and the actual best. And, uh, f you know, Impact has really taken the, the receiver and they're doing everything right, every detail. It's the best materials and it's, they are so consistent. I mean, easily within two ten thousandths. Mm -hmm. I measure these things. And, uh, you know, the, Billy Don's choice to use the, uh, the spur mount, absolutely fantastic. I'm friends with that guy on Facebook and he's a class act and a, a top tier gunsmith in his own right. Yeah. A loophole, I'll tell you. It's a wonderful time to be a rifle shooter. We got so many people jonesing for our dollar. Mm -hmm. And the top tier names are too. And scopes like this, I'll tell you, even 15 years ago, we couldn't dream of glass like this. Right. And they still got the warranty. We run a lot of Vortex and Loophole here. Yeah. Uh, and then Bartland Barrels. I'll tell you, Bartland Barrels, I'm sold. They're great. There's lots of good barrels. I don't want to throw nobody under the bus. Everybody is doing good, but Bartland barrels, they can control their twist rate to three decimals of a twist. Mm -hmm. We talked about this earlier when I brought my barrel and my action in here to get made. You're, we were talking about these Bartland barrels, and um, you've built, se built several of these rifles, rebarreled them for Billy Don, um, and tell me what y'all noticed going through that. Well, I mean, like I said, I mean, we every rifle we build with these Bartland barrels shoots to the same standard with the same ammo and the exact same specs but with uh, with Billy Don's these barrels are so good and you know our, our system of barreling is so consistent that uh, we didn't even have to adjust the scope it actually uh, we, we took the scope off completely disassembled the rifle we put it back together reattached the scope and there was no change to the right. impact point which is impressive. Well, that speaks volumes to not only Bartland, but also what you're doing here on this lathe. Yeah. That you can build the same chamber, almost, or I guess you could say identical to the one previous because he's putting his scope back on there with that new barrel and there's zero or hardly, he said maybe one click of adjustment. One for time for we had to move impact. one click. That's crazy. Okay, but the, the thing is, is that, you know, that's, that is impressive, but it must be that way. Yep. It simply must be that because we're on. A, we're trying to do things with these rifles that have never been done before. Right. And I check these things. You know, the the impact shift is a function of how straight that barrel was to that receiver compared to the last time. Well, <coughs> and it's not surprising. And I've seen you post videos on your on your <coughs> Facebook and on social media. Yes. Of measuring, actual measuring the concentricity of all that. Yes, we, we put a range rod in the receiver and we put a range rod in the muzzle. We put them between V blocks and we spin the entire thing with indicators on it and we check. And this just illustrates how the industry has changed. You know, there was a bench rester in Florida that asked me to make sure that the barrel points up. And I asked him, which part of the barrel do you want pointing up? <laughs> because there's less than three thousandths run out in the entire rifle stem to stern. Right. And there are three actual high points of less than a thousandths and a half wow. over that barrel. And he says, I've never heard of that. There's always points someplace, not here. Right. And it's, the barrels are straight. And that's what should be expected, especially in precision shooting. It's what everybody should expect. Mm -hmm. And everybody should expect, if you can't put 10 shots into a hole that big, cover all 10 with a dime, you're not going to compete against things like this. So um, let's move on. So we talked about how great of quality this impact uh, precision action is. For those getting into shooting that still want great quality such as that, but on a lower budget, what are something you're doing with these uh, Remington actions or any action that somebody brings you? Remington's the golden standard, right? I mean, we can do it. 
the uh, the the Remington actions. We are blueprinting these, and we are very carefully remachining every part of these actions. We've got on this one, which is yours, right? We've got the 840 screw holes on top. We've got completely remachined all the inside of this. The lug abutments, the threads, the receiver face. And I've also machined the, uh, the face of your bolt. It is a mirror finish. It, uh, it is very, very beautiful, is mm -hmm. it not? Okay, yeah. well, that's not just making it straight and square. I've actually added a special lug and I have cut these dimensions to very precise places. This takes drop-in barrels. Just like impact action does, we can make so drop-in barrels. So a prefit impact barrel will fit on that action? Yes, yes, it's the same spec. Awesome. Uh, and we can, we can machine it to that spec. So what that does in the long run is save me time of waiting on a gunsmith to develop or to blueprint action to put the chamber in it. Now you can, I can call you up, say, I need another barrel. Yes and it's ready. Yeah, and just so that you know what the precision is, you know how gauge blocks ring together? You see this stain here? Wow. This, uh, this, I just rung the recoil lug to the receiver. Wow. It's not, you... There that's is. precision. Wow. Right there. It's impressive. So yeah, we, we do the Remingtons, and there's, there's more we can do, you know, uh, as far as the bolt fit to the receiver, there's an old trick where you put in cam bushings so that when that bolt is running back and forth, it's smooth, but when you lock it, those cams lock in, and that doesn't happen, that yeah. little wiggle. We put in external bolt stops to get rid of the little stamp piece in the uh, little stamp bolt release in the trigger guard, mm -hmm. right? There's just about nothing I can't do to this. But we're also, uh, we build on any receiver. You know, we, we do a lot of uh, Tika. The yeah. Tika T3 is a phenomenal choice. And I know um, Bergara. I've seen a few Bergara actions come out. Can't say enough about Bergara. You know, Bergara, you know, the, the humility of how they came into it. I mean, when you talk about Spanish-made guns, right, it ain't good, okay? They, they, they've never had a great reputation, but I gotta tell you, when, when they went to make the Bergara B-14 and the HMRs and stuff, they really humbled themselves because they knew that the barrel was where it's at. And they went to Schillen out of Texas and got them to teach them how to do those barrels. And not only that, unlike a Remington, I've blueprinted the Bergaras yeah. too, right? I think and that's what Nick, is that what Nick shoots? Nick is shooting a, uh, a Bergara. And I've noticed there's not a lot of gunsmiths that have worked with, with those actions. Sure. Well, we work with everything. I blueprinted a 1895 Teddy Roosevelt Deeper <laughs> action one time, okay? Yeah. That was a, that was a setup. But, uh, you know, Bergara, their threads are straight. You know, I mean, honestly, I mean, you can't quite compete with something like this, but it's close. It's real close. It, I don't have to take out near as much material on a Bergara to hit this standard yeah. as I do a Remington. Uh, it's, they are excellent, superb. All they, honestly, they need a barrel, right? They, they make an awesome barrel, but it's no Bartlett. <laughs> yeah. Right? So any, like I did here, I had this sitting on a, an old hunting rifle. Um, didn't have the money to buy a custom action, right. but I knew you did tremendous work on action. So that's what I decided to do for my entry level um, PRS gun was get that, that old action that I wasn't using anyway. It was an old hunting rifle that I hadn't used in years, just sitting on the shelf. Yep. And I brought that to you. And uh, we, we can make them talk. I, I did the same thing. You know, my, my hunting rifle this year is a is an old Walmart uh, rock tumbled uh, <laughs> ADL short action. But yesterday I just went out and I shot uh, .35 for 10 shots at 100 yards. Wow. Right? Uh, Boom, Bartlett barrel, right? Yeah. Well, Tim, I sure appreciate it. I'm looking forward to getting my gun finished and getting it on the range, but um, I, I, I plan on doing a lot of work with you in the future. Sure. And, um, Billy Don and his guys speak highly of you, and I think you're going to put Arkansas on the map. So you're going to see. I think you're going to see a lot of good shooters coming out of Arkansas. You already are, but I also think you're going to see a lot of good shooters coming out of this shop. So. Well, well, I'll tell you something. I mean, that that's awesome that you say that, but. I gotta say, you know, I've been building precision rifles to this standard for years, okay? If you do not have the training to use one of these tools, it won't do yeah. what we're talking right. about. And I guess I have to give a really big shout out to Arkansas Precision Shooting Academy 
Uh, Billy Dom runs that. And I tell you, uh, I, I would dare say without going there, you cannot get what the maximum out of these rifles that, uh, that people are. Uh, the training regimen out there is fantastic. It's short, it's to the point. Yep. And uh, I mean, there was a guy that just, uh, he went to APSA and uh, shoot, six months later, he was placing in the top 75th percentile on a PRS match. Wow. That's unbelievable. Yep. That, that place really works. And I would encourage anybody that has a rifle built here to do set aside just a little bit of money to, to go and invest in your own skill. Yeah, and one of the good things with Billy Don and APSA is it's completely unique to you. Your experience there is gonna be a unique experience custom fit to you. That's right. When I went to him, I told him, you look, I'm not a beginner shooter. I've been shooting guns since I was six years old, but I've never shot in a PRS match. I wanna get familiar with that. I don't wanna to go to my first match and be all nerves and be so stressed out. And he set it up just like a PRS match, ran me through different barricades and different strategies. But not to say he doesn't work with beginner shooters. He absolutely does. Absolutely. And if at any level, you can get with them and they can set up a, a training curriculum to fit exactly what you need at whatever level you are. So those are some great guys. I'm, I appreciate you mentioning them. But well, man, we're gonna let you get back to work. I know you're busy. I see a lot of guns around here. Uh, we'll let you turn this shot back on and get to rolling. But I appreciate I, it, man. Uh